Since Python 3.0, strings are stored as Unicode, where each character in the string is represented by a unique number called a code point. For example, the character J has the code point decimal value of 74. There are more than a million different code points in the Unicode standard character set. For efficient storage of these strings, encoding converts the sequence of code points into a set of bytes. Also, Python has a few escape sequences. If you look at the table on the right, you can see that the backslash n is a new line, backslash t is a tab or an indent, backslash single quote will print out a single quote if you needed to, the backslash double quote will print out a double quote if you needed one, and if you needed to, let's say, print out a backslash, you would have to use two backslashes in a row because that's the escape character for a backslash. You can ignore escape sequences by just using a raw string. A raw string is created by adding a lowercase r before a string literal. And I'll show an example of this in a little bit. Converting between a text character and its encoded value may be useful. So the built-in ORD function cre returns an encoded integer value for the string of length one. And the built-in CHR function returns a single character for an in coded integer. And we'll test out these functions as well. So let's try that right now in Python. All right, so first let's try out some of these escape sequences. So let's print, this is a test. Run that program. This is a test, All right? So if I type right before it, backslash T, it should tab it over a little bit. This is a test. And just for a comparison, let's print out the original. And so there's the original. Here is the indented version. We could also write anywhere we want in the middle of this string. We could say this is a backslash N test which will take the word test and move it to a new line. If I wanted single quotations around the word test, you can't really do that without escape characters because it just gives you errors because it thinks that this little quote is closing this first quote. But by sticking a backslash in front of it, problem solved. This is a test in quotes. Same thing for double quotes. And actually, you don't even need the backslashes for the double quotes if the entire string is surrounded by single quotes. That will work. And vice versa. If your entire string is surrounded by double quotes, then you don't need the backslashes to add single quotes around the word test. So keep that in mind as well. And let's say you wanted to print out this little backslash. You can't do that. And Python because it just gives you an error. Let's see what it says. Some kind of syntax error. But two backslashes in a row, problem solved, then you get your one backslash. Let's change that back to single quotes. If you're not sure whether you should use single or double quotes around strings, it's preferred to use single quotes, but you could also use double quotes if you want. But the common convention, um, most people use single quotes for their strings in Python. Whereas other programming languages like Java or C++, you'll use double quotes. But either way is fine in Python. Let's print out the raw string version of this. So without that double quote there, we get an error. But if we stick the letter R in front of it, like that, Then we get, this is a test with the, both the backslash and the asterisk appearing at the same time. So it actually is showing the full escape sequence in the string that's being printed out. We also mentioned the ORD function, which returns the encoded integer value of a string. So let's try that out. Let's say print ORD of the string character J. It has to be a single character or, or this is not going to work. And this tells you that its value is 74. 
74 is a numeric encoding of that character J. Let's next try out the CHR function. And let's, let's type 75 in there and click run. And we get a capital K, which is the encoded values character equivalent. 